Hello, it is Sunday, February 12th, 2023. I'm Chris Primo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Sunday puzzle today, so a big grid, although just noticing now, um, not the biggest this grid could possibly be, because there seems to be a little bite taken out of the northwest corner there. I wonder if that will be symmetrically reflected in the southeast corner. We'll have to find out momentarily. Um, In any case, this um, sort of nibbled edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Laura Sexton, Victoria Rojishka, Kathleen Quinn, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Shulmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support in bringing us this edition and this series more generally and sustaining this channel. I do very much appreciate that. And thank you to all of my benefactors and everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign in any capacity. If you'd like to become a benefactor yourself and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or via a link in the description field underneath the video. And of course, at that same link, you can back the Patreon campaign at any level you choose and get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. So again, thank you to all of my patrons. It really does keep this going. Um, so do also consider joining the Daily Self Discord chat server. There's a link in the description field to that as well. And please do subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've not yet done so. That is a very straightforward and free and easy way to support the channel and try and get YouTube to, um, I don't know, consider it in their recommendations, however that robot uh, algorithm works. So, all right, all that said, let's get on to solving today's crossword. This is entitled Cheap Thrills, as all Sunday puzzles do. This one has a title and it was constructed by Christina Iverson and Samuel A. Donaldson, both experienced crossword constructors. I believe this is their first collaboration with one another. Uh, And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So I'm curious about, I think Cheap Thrills was actually, it was an answer, I think, in a recent crossword. Um, I don't think that has any connection to this. It just, I just remember that was the case. I'm curious to see what it means thematically. So let's start solving. Did I say it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts? I think I did. Um, but it was. So let's start solving. Ah, yes. And that little nibble is reflected down here. Now this one has a little, sorry, the the one down in the southeast has a sort of line on the bottom as, as though a word were extending from this final circle. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's just an artifact of the way the grid is being rendered. I'm not sure. It's interesting. So I wonder... My first question is, why do we need the cutout section of the grids rather than there simply being black cells there? Presumably that will be answered by the theme, but we will have to find out. So let's just start solving. To become hysterical without is to wig out, maybe? You don't hear that as much anymore, but it's a thing. Sharpens, maybe wets as in a blade. You could sharpen a blade, wet a blade. How I Met Your Mother. There we go. I've heard of not seen this um, show, but I have. I do know it exists. So there we go. Sigh of lament. Ah me. You might. You might lament. Ah me. Bad flight forecast. Sleet maybe. Sleet would probably be a bad forecast for flight. So it looks like these letters are spelling out either was or saw. Oh, maybe it's a saw, and they've sawed out a corner of the grid. Oh, that would make sense. That would make sense. Okay, so. Um, Still don't know what that means yet, but it seems like it might link up. So source of many a name on a campus building informally, an alum, someone, uh, an an alumnus, someone who attended that school and maybe donated money used to construct that building. Okay, another university-related clue, poli-sci for political science, an area of study. And WhatsApp transmissions briefly could be IMs, instant messages, uh, transmitted through WhatsApp, although I feel as though WhatsApp, it's sort of tonally, WhatsApp is more like texting than instant messaging. It's a subtle distinction, I suppose, but it's sort of a text replacement rather than a, um, but I, that's probably a completely silly um, distinction to make. Anyway, economizing as represented by the circled squares. Oh, cutting something. Economizing, cutting Corners. There we go. Okay, perfect. There we have it. 
So cutting corners, which we've done with a saw and we'll do down there with something else. Uh, here we have work out is to get in shape maybe. So I wonder what else is going on with the theme. I mean, that's very, this is obviously only referring to two um, elements of the grid, these two corners. So what else is going on? Because we also have these shaded cells forming a cross in the center of the grid, obviously. We'll get there. Navy, nay. No, sir, maybe? A way to say no in a military, in a naval context. Reply to the little red hen, not I. This is the story who, what was it? Who, I don't know, stole my grain or something? I don't remember what was going on that the little red, head was, the little red hen was inquiring about. Okay, starts eating, digs in, and where dancers have a ball. Dancers have a ball. The f ball of their foot? I don't know why the dancers in particular. Um, not, oh, disco, a disco ball uh, hanging from the ceiling. There we go. That's what it would be. Some garlic prep could be mincing the garlic before using it in a recipe. Uh, regarding this matter, as for that matter, you could say, and maker of the Nitro 5 gaming laptop. <laughs> That's incredibly specific. Who on earth would have just been able to pull that out of their head? But I mean, we see laptop maker and Acer is a laptop manufacturer, and that's come out of, that's been referenced in the puzzle before. So it's a sort of slightly indulgent clue that <laughs> I don't think the expectation is that you'd know the Nitro 5 in particular. A lighted title could be ma'am, and sort of alighted from madam. The D has been alighted to create this contracted version. And the years at the spring and days at the morn. Robert Browning, I would think. Days at the morn. That sounds like it would be correct. Reason, yes, to reason something would be to infer it, to figure it out from context clues. To logically reason it out. Name hidden in before long. Well, we can simply look at the letters in uh, the words before long, and we get Elon, a name um, with which I suppose we're all very familiar these days. And seizes eagerly as an opportunity, leaps at an opportunity. Um, Yankees manager before Girardi. Okay, here's one of the few <laughs> times I'm going to just have in my at the ready in my knowledge banks um, access to a particular manager of a sports team, and that was Joe Torre, who was a famous Yankees manager. Don't recognize Girardi, wouldn't have known Torre was immediately before Girardi, but Yankees manager. Sort of like the um, the Nitro 5 gaming laptop. All we need is the bit that said Yankees manager. Restaurant competitor of Pinkberry and Sweet Frog. I've not heard of Sweet Frog, but Pinkberry is a, I think, I think it's frozen yogurt. Is it ice cream or frozen yogurt? I think it's frozen yogurt. And TCBY is a frozen yogurt chain brand in the U.S. as well. And I've heard a few different explanations for what these letters mean, one of which is the country's best yogurt, I think. I don't know if that's the correct one um, in any case. Zealous activist, a crusader, could be a, a zealous activist could be described as a crusader potentially. C note. C note. What is that? Is it a Ben? Benjamin Franklin? Whose face is on the bill? Is that what this is? McFlurry mix in Oreo, of course. <laughs> yeah, so here we have another usage of the official cookie of the New York Times crossword, the Oreo. I don't remember seeing this as a clue before, McFlurry mix-in, but it's clearly the answer. So I think this will be a sort of McDonald's milkshake, I guess, presumably. Um, and then hierarchy level is a rung, a rung of a ladder, uh, to metaphorically describe a hierarchical system. And tranquil discipline could be yoga something. Oops, sorry. Yoga, hmm. Not sure. I would have assumed it was yoga something. I don't know what comes after it. So maybe I'll just leave that for now. The bad news is, alas, but that's not enough letters. Um, the bad news is, not sure. 
Sean of Stranger Things. Oh, Sean Astin. I saw the first season of Stranger Things. I don't remember. Was Sean Astin in that one? I don't remember, but he clearly was in the show at some point. Hamburger's Beef. Um, Hamburger's Beef. Oh, no. My first thought was Ach, and I was wondering if it was this was if hamburger was using to mean German, and then Ach is just kind of a general. Like I'm frustrated. Um, I, I'm not sure that's specific enough, so I won't put it in just yet. Oh, here we have economizing as represented twice in twelve down. Oh, interesting. So the theme finally we see what the broader theme is. I guess it's economizing as represented in a number of different sort of visual ways in the grid, presumably. I don't yet know what this one is. Former, oh, former name of a Kansas area that commemorated a 1976 U.S. anniversary. I do not know. Do not know. But let's keep looking around. It helps make a stew a goo. Okra or agar. This can both be used to thicken things. Um, poached fruit, poached pear is a classic poached fruit dessert. Garnish for una margarita. Um, salt, sel, well, hmm. Sel is salt in French. I d I'm not sure what it is in Spanish, annoyingly. Catchy tunes informally. Bops, maybe? That's a sort of very current phrase for that. Uh, I mean, bop has older history in music generally, in jazz, but uh, in that particular usage, I think it's very modern, catchy tune. Furniture giant is probably Ikea, I would think, in four letters. Okay, so it's probably Sol, S-A-L, so very similar to the French Sol, S-E-L. Certain U.S. time zone in four letters. What does that mean? Central, C-T-A-L or something? I'm not sure. Okay, so it helps make us do a goo is okra in this case. Certain U.S. time zone. What am I missing here? It looks like Errol or Earl, which is a different, which would be different geographical answers, but not in the US. Um, let's keep looking around. The bad news is I fear, oops, oops. Yogisa, I don't, hmm. Oh, wait. yogism, is that? Yogism, I suppose that would be a noun relative of yoga. I suppose that makes sense. Okay, so it makes a red velvet cake red. I would have assumed it was food coloring, but maybe not. Uh, prohibition target. Um, is it referring to prohibition of alcohol in the United States, or is it referring to pro is it using a, a broader sense of prohibition? I'm not sure. Part of an MC's intro, often a bio, if they were introducing. As someone who's coming on stage, they might introduce them with some biographical details, maybe. MC for Master of Ceremonies. Word with pepper or tower. Bell pepper or bell tower? Bell tower, is that something? Oh, bell tower, of course, sorry. As in a bell tower of a church or something like that. Oof. Offering from Dr. Mom in brief. TLC, maybe? Tender Loving Care? Educational supporter. Maybe American Teachers Association or something like that. Memorable mission. The Alamo. Remember the Alamo? Um, do these these seem like they're hanging together? Let's let's keep checking the crosses. Like some ancient pyramids. Okay, yes, this definitely looks correct because some ancient pyramids are Incan, the Inca um, civilization. Zip could be not a nun zero. And a farmyard cry could be ma from sheep, ma, ma. Okay, once popular devices discontinued in 2022, the iPod, I think, was finally discontinued last year. So iPods, plural. And senior, senior, senior partners are... Not sure. So could be... I mean, obviously, when you read senior partner, you think um, a... a, a long-serving or high-ranking partner in a law firm or something like that. But the question mark makes me think it's not going to be that and we'll read differently, but I'm not sure quite how. Cancun cash could be pesos maybe, so 
um, money used in Cancun in Mexico. Um, prohibition target. So what is this? I'm just not sure. You've made your point slangly. And cousin of a weasel. A stoat or an otter or what? What are cousins of weasels? Um, okay, let's keep looking around. Economizing as represented twice in 12 down. So, oh, pinching pennies. Oh, this was PTA, the Parent Teacher Association of a given school. That would be a supporter of education, I see. So in any case, pinching pennies. And in what manner is this answer going to be pinching pennies? I think I don't know enough about what the what the clue is referring to in order to infer that. So I might keep looking around for now. Okay, acceleration, e.g., um, a rate. You could measure acceleration as a rate, express it as a rate. Uh, calc blank sum in French, French calc, calc shows. That would have, it's not long enough to, or that's too long to fit in this grid. Sum in French. Oh, it's embarrassing that I can't get this clue. I don't know. Let's keep looking around. Quantity multiplied by acceleration in Newton's second law. I don't remember what Newton's second law is. Um, quantity measured by acceleration. I don't know. Is it mass or something? I'm not sure. Let's keep looking around. The crown roll. Um, I mean, it'll be a member of the royal family, probably, but it could also be someone in their orbit. Oh, Diana, probably. Yes, Diana. Princess of Wales. Okay. Um, oh, is it Kelkazoon? That would... That, that would make sense. Un being the um, indefinite feminine article in French. Uh, prohibition target. Something run or rum. The rum runners were um, boot, you know, uh, smugglers in the prohibition era. Um, not sure. Okay. Oh, ma maybe this is mass, if that were rum, actually. Mass times acceleration. Is it force of mass times acceleration? I can't remember. Sorry. It's been so long since I've studied anything physics related. Senior partners. Um, and you've made your point slangily. So gas that doesn't look seem like anything. Bussing on a bus for short. Not sure about that either. Colorful kind of shirt, an Aloha shirt, a Hawaiian shirt, maybe. Oh, so the hamburger's beef maybe is Ach, after all, okay. Didn't expect that to work out. Pioneer in global aviation. Pan Am, uh, Pan American Airlines, the famed, um, glamorous, now defunct airline. Blank Hill, neighborhood of San Francisco. Knob Hill is a neighborhood in San Francisco. And words of defeat, I lose or I lost, not sure which yet. Probably lose. Parts of a gig. Could be megas and megabyte, parts of parts of a gigabyte, megs, sorry. That's what I was looking for there, megabytes, megs. Don't sweat it informally. No big as in no big deal, just contracted further, or contracted, not further. Lead into an opinion could be as I see it. There we go. And still not sure about busing on a bus. Not sure if it's referring to busing in a general sense or busing specifically when... Um, the schools were being integrated racially, or if it's busing as in taking your tray to a counter or something. I don't know why that would be relevant. Yeah, I'm not sure. To suffer could be to ail from an ailment. Scrapbooker's project. I'm not sure about that either. Honesty, resilience, or a sense of humor, perhaps, could be an asset, a positive part of your personality. A vile Nile reptile, an asp, maybe. Um, a famous sort of murdering snake. Work that hasn't, or a tool of murder, I suppose, in some ways. Work that hasn't yet entered a publication pre-something, pre-print or something like that. I'm not sure. That's history. Could be an era. And when we see this exclamation point, usually this means 
the entire clue isn't necessarily going to be a definition or a synonym of the answer, but rather it's something you would say about the answer. So in this case, an era. About an era, you could declare, that's history. It's an era. It's history. Um, so that's usually what, what's going on with the exclamation point clues. Hebrew version of the English pronoun I. I'm not sure offhand, so I'll just skip that for now. Okay, what have we not seen that I've probably passed right over? From not so long ago. I can't think of anything that fits in three letters, unfortunately. Okay, maybe there's nothing I've skipped over here that's that's incredibly useful, so let's keep looking around. Shield of Ancient Greece. And this is a variant spelling. So Aegis is probably what it's referring to. I think that can be spelled this way, maybe. Yeah. I'm not incredibly confident about that, I have to admit. A kind of knife of infomercial fame. Oh, this rings a very distant bell. Gin, is it Ginsu? Knives were sort of sold on television by mail order? I think that's right. Like Urdu or Hindi. Well, they're languages, obviously. Um, let's keep looking around. Was very ripe. It smelt, maybe? Not sure about that. With that variant spelling of smell, it doesn't seem very likely. But let's check some crosses. Confidentially, confidentiality contract for short. A non-disclosure agreement? Yes, NDA. Okay, so this is not smelled. I didn't think it was going to be. Non-disclosure agreement is a confidentiality contract. And let's see. What was this again? Was very ripe. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. What else can we look at here? Cellists need. What would a cellist need? A cellist would need a bow and a cello, obviously. That won't be the answer. Um, rosin to uh, apply to the bow to increase friction to allow the sound to be properly produced. It was very right. Oh, stank. So I was sort of right with smelt. I just had the wrong wrong, wrong word for it. Oh, and here's another one of these, economizing as represented in 58 down. Not in a relationship. This is interesting. These S's both seem right. So maybe we've removed some letters. We've economized away from le some letters, and that will allow this to read properly. Uh, I don't yet know what's going on there, though. Scrapbooker's Project, Manhattan is one. An island? People always refer to Manhattan and an island. It always seems like a peninsula to me. So which do we think it is? Peninsula or island? I don't know. Round figures. And what's the blank? Sup with that? What's the dealio, maybe? Sort of some 90s slang there? What was this? Bussing on a bus for short. Oh, bussing as in kissing. Oh, wow. Right. Okay. That's a, it's a less common uh, synonym there, but but it works. That's very clever. So a PDA, public display of affection, I suppose, would be bussing or kissing on a bus. Wouldn't blame you for not jumping straight to that one. Uh, the last OG network. No idea, but TBS, TMC, um, what else is there? Maybe it's TBS. I'm trying to think of other possible T networks. Scrapbooker. Oh, Scrapbooker's Project and Album, of course. That should have been more obvious. So it probably is TBS. And then attempt is to try or a stab. You made an attempt. You, you took a stab. So an attempt as a noun in this case rather than attempt the verb. And out and out. If it's an out and out falsehood, it's an utter falsehood. Um, foreign leader whom... Nixon met in 1972, famously, was Chairman Mao. And a fencer's score, a touch. You sort of touch the opponent according to the rules. You get, you're scored in fencing. Montana City, southwest of Helena. Butte, Butte is a city in Montana. Oh, and we've, we've now filled out all of the, um, all of these crossed shaded letters in the center of the grid. So Bum ass. I mean, I suppose those are synonyms, slangy synonyms. 
Oh, and so are can and but. I see. They're all synonyms of one another. So what? So something will be pointing to these, and we've not yet found the clue that points to these and explains the way in which it's economizing. So we'll, we'll get there soon. Plant whose name derives from Quechua. I'm sure I pronounced that terribly. I'm very sorry, but um, but I don't know the answer. Blank drag hockey maneuver. I don't know that either. Devious snicker could be ha, maybe. And okay, so this is economizing the 58 down. So there will be one more of these, presumably. Where will it be? I don't know. Well, we'll get there sooner or later. So have we not, have we, are there any of these acrosses we've skipped? Little squealer, a piglet maybe? That's not enough letters and it doesn't fit with an I anyway. Not sure. Oh, Manhattan is one. It looks like island now because of the L. Okay, so island after all, not a peninsula, at least in this crosswords reckoning. Round figures, shields? I don't know if a shield would be described as a figure, so this might be, this might not be the correct answer, but just the first thing that came to mind. In concert, live or something, or together, united, as one? As one could be in concert, together, united. Ugh, this is horrible. Um, not sure. And it, it being in brackets makes me think this is going to be a sound, a kind of vocalization that's nonverbal, so not, not language necessarily. Um, ipso facto is the fill in the blanks, blanks phrase there. And um, like some highlighter colors, neon, you often have neon colors, um, sort of bright, almost luminescent colors and highlighter pens. Little squealer. So what is this? Just not sure. Uh, welcome event, an open house? Okay, so right. This wasn't Shields. I didn't think it was going to be Shields, to be honest with you. I shouldn't have actually typed it in there. Uh, in any case, a welcome event is open house. So what is the are the round figures? Probably still end, probably still doesn't end, does end in S. Oh, spheres, of course. There we go. Much more straightforward than, than Shields. And a sphere is a figure in the sense of being a shape. Unwelcome, so to speak. Non-something? Ugh, this is horrible. Moan, maybe. Oh, a little squealer, a mini pig? <laughs> mini pig, miniature, I mean, miniature pig. I don't think I've ever seen that contracted to mini pig. Sorry, I'm getting phone on my, and my phone is buzzing and I'm worried it's creating those um, sounds in the microphone, which apparently happened yesterday. I'm very sorry about that. So I've just put it in airplane mode. Should have remembered to do that earlier. Uh, in any case, oh, not in a relationship, single. So... There we go. So we've doubled something. I mean, we've doubled each letter, I mean, in sequence, but I'm trying to think, how does that economize? I'm not sure. I wish I could just infer what this, what this is just now, but I don't think I can. So anyway, unwelcome, so to speak, non, I don't know, non great, non grand, I'm not sure. Relish. could be a verb or a noun and could be several kinds of noun because it could mean relish like pickled relish or something like that or it could be relish as an enjoy um, or sorry enjoyment I you know we did it with relish you did it with enjoyment or delight barely gets the words out stammers maybe and right so here's that economizing what is it stretch oh stretching there we go. We're stretching out the word single. That's pretty good. So stretching a buck or something that doesn't, oh, it is a buck because um, a single, a buck, a single dollar. Oh, indic. Ah, there we go. There we go. Like Urdu or Hindi. Okay. I was thinking it was going to have to be something related to Indi 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 Indian or something in the sense of like Indo-European in the broader sense. Um, but indic specifically makes sense. And I just didn't, did not jump to that. Okay. In any case, work that hasn't yet entered publication does look like it is preprint, which I seemed like was logical, but I just, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Just didn't seem like I was confident about it yet. Cousin of a weasel. I wanted to end with an R, but I don't have any idea about what the actual answer is. And I don't know what this answer is either. 
the main antagonist, question mark. So main, I think in this case, is referring to the sea as in the Spanish main, that sort of thing. So I'm wondering if it's a pirate, an antagonist, and an, sort of a seafaring antagonist, the main antagonist, pirate lord or something, the main antagonist, pirate ship, maybe? Maybe if you refer, if you think of the ship itself as being an antagonist? Smoky spot for short. Beast with recurved horns. An ibex? Yeah, ibexes have kind of spiraled horns, I believe. Large crowd, a horde. Oh, an axe. Okay, great. So this is the other one of the cutting corners clues. We have our saw and our axe, each cutting a corner. There we go. Very good. Smoky spot for short. What is that? And gaggles are what gobs is in lots of, there were gaggles of them, gobs of them. Oh, I see. Ah, I see. Okay. This sort of requires an American cultural context, I think, to some extent, because Smokey the Bear, I was going to say was, but probably still is, a mascot used to discourage um, forest fires by promoting forest safety. Uh, and so PSA in this case would be a public service announcement on which, uh, on television, on which you, in which you might see Smokey the Bear teach you something about fire safety in the forest. All right, Liberal Arts College in Kentucky. Not sure. Locally focused lecture franchise. Oh, TED TEDx. You see those on YouTube sometimes. Uh, they're sort of uh, conferences from that TED series that are sort of not run by the main TED people. I think. Pack twin. Pack twelve player. Not sure. I'm, if I had to guess, it would be Ute. Is I don't know if Utah is in the Pack twelve, which is a. Um, uh, university sports athletic conference, but um, that's just a guess. Let's see if it works here. Yes, I think it does because an AC measure, air conditioning measurement, could be BTU, uh, which is used as a, as a um, to measure. I guess energy is it energy usage? I guess, and then Pac-12 player. I do think it is Ute, and then economizing as oh here here's our shaded cells. Economizing as represented by the shaded squares. Uh, this looks a little bit odd, doesn't it? Maybe gobs is wrong. Gaggles. Pirate ship looks pretty correct to me at this point. I don't know. We'll get there momentarily. Okay, what have we not... So we've not seen anything in the... Oh, sorry. I was going to look at the acrosses that I haven't yet seen, but I just happened to pass over this one. Unwelcome, so to speak, could be non grata, as in persona non grata someone who's been sort of snubbed and is no longer welcome. Relish Augusto. Okay, so it was the noun form here, not a verb. So it, it was the example I gave, you know, he, he did it with gusto. He did it with relish, with enjoyment and aplomb. Like some modern maps, G, oh, genomic, as in the mapping of the human genome. There we go. And capers could be antics, as in hijinks. And painter, uh, Jan van Eyck, E-Y-C-K, I think, is the painter. Um, vote in favor would be yay, uh, as in yay or nay. And, oh, plant whose name derives from kekwa, so coca. Right, okay, so that probably is somewhat how this word is pronounced, but I'm sure I'm not doing it justice fully. So toe drag, hockey maneuver. That sounds reasonable. Trading places... I wonder if it means places where things are traded. So meats, maybe. Um, could be stock markets or something. I don't think there's going to be a version of that that fits. But a swap meet, things are traded at a swap meet. So pros with deliveries in brief. Oh, OBs for obstetricians, so doctors who will deliver babies. Um, so this probably is meats. Golfer Palmer to fans. Arnold Palmer to fans. Arnie. Um, I have seen that before in the context of Arnie's army, I think, is how his fans describe themselves. The planet's composer is Holst, Gustav Holst. Um, of those, Mars is probably the most famous. Um, of, the, of the pieces in the planet's sort of cycle, I mean. Okay, economizing as represented by the... Oh, right, we're back to this. 
making um, it'll have something to do with you know rear ends, but I don't know. I'm sure it'll be very obvious when I see it. Let's let's see if making is is even correct. Carded at a bar informally, ID'd, asked for your identification. Common spot for a sunburn could be the nape of your neck, maybe. And beaming as with joy could be a glow. So this is almost complete. Like some morning lawns are dewy. They're sort of spotted with dew. Classical poem could be an epode, which was in the puzzle yesterday. Uh, connected to Horace, I think, if, I, if I'm recalling correctly. Word that means ocean in a religious title. Well, that's interesting. Is it Dalé? I don't know that I knew that. That's really interesting. Uh, and this looks like I'm ready. Yes, let's do this. I'm ready. Does that help with this? Oh, what was this? Civil rights icon, blank Helen Burroughs. Nenny? Economizing of representative making. What is going on with this? Did I look at these? I can't remember. Oh, right, I did. I didn't know them. Liberal Arts College in Kentucky. I still don't know, even with all of the fill. Gaggles. I thought it was gobs, but maybe it isn't. Power structure. Something feels not great in this general area, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure for what reason. So power structure. Maybe it meets wrong? Trading places. Trading places. Marts, maybe. Power structure. Grip, like a grip on a movie set, but not really structure, doesn't really work there. Um, and there's a question mark. A grid, a grid is in the electricity grid. Okay. Oh, making ends meet, a nanny. Okay, that looks much better. Nanny Helen Burroughs, there we go. Okay, okay, I feel much better about this area now. Making ends meet. So what did we have? Oh, mobs. That's better than gobs. Mobs is in a huge group of people or animals or whatever. And then Beria, Liberal Arts College, Kentucky. I have to hope that's correct because I just don't know off the top of my head. Um, Santa's favorite hostess dessert. Ho-ho, I suppose. <laughs> there we go. So hostess being a sort of commercial bakery in the United States. And Wilson of film. Owen Wilson is an actor of film. Chain email abbreviation could be forward because... Chain email, by definition, is passed on, forwarded to others. So here we have bad-sounding creatures are foul. In other words, foul are obviously a category of bird, and it sounds like a word that means bad, essentially, foul. It's cried on a slide, we, as you go down a slide, and triumphant shout at a crossword tournament could be done. Hopefully that is a shout I will be able to trans uh, triumphantly make soon. Freshness could be sass in the sense of being fresh with someone being impudent. Uh, Grammy winner Dua Lipa... Uh, is certainly becoming, I think, a very crosswordy, um, a very, very crosswordy performer um, with a name that is clearly very useful to crossword constructors. To check, so a check of powers could be a curb of powers, um, and ditto in legal footnotes. I think this is um, idem, idem, i d e m. And then Shakespeare's, shall I compare thee to a summer's day, has five of them, right? So I ams. It has uh, five I ams, which is what, so a, a, a uh, you know, succession of five I ams comprises a complete unit of iambic pentameter, which of course is very associated with the Shakespeare. And an I am is the, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? I mean, obviously you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to read it like that uh, if you were actually doing a reading, but it emphasizes the unstressed, stressed nature of each I am. Okay, um, what have we not solved up here? Quite a bit. Prohibition tar. Is there a phrase like demon rum or something? I have no idea. I'm just trying to guess what I think this could be. There's probably something obvious that I'm just completely blanking on. It makes a red velvet cake red. Very sorry if you, if all of these are very clear. Oh, right, and this was Pinching Pennies. Former name of a Kansas arena. Did I say arena before or did I say area? I'm not sure. Certain U.S. time zones. So what are the U.S. time zones? 
there's Pacific, Mountain, Central, and Eastern, and then whatever. I don't know if I don't know if Hawaii and Alaska have different time zones, but Central would fit here. Oh, and cent a cent is a penny. If we did this as a rebus. Oh, bison ten bison. Oh, maybe this isn't leaps at, but it's leaps on. So centennial, in other words, the hundredth anniversary of something. And a bicentennial is the 200th anniversary of something. So 1976 was the bicentennial of, what, I guess the Declaration of Independence. And so bicentennial center, I guess, because we're pinching pennies, we need to pinch two of the pennies. And if you have no idea what I just did, that was the what is called in the New York Times crossword, the rebus function, which allows you to enter an arbitrary number of letters into a single cell. And sometimes you need to do that in order for the puzzle to be completed. It's not always obvious when that's the case, as it wasn't to me until almost the very end of the puzzle. But it did, uh, we got there eventually. So I'll soon be able to say, done triumphantly. This does look like demon rum. I don't think I'm familiar with that phrase, but it just feels correct to me. It makes a red... Oh, food coloring? It makes a red velvet cake red. Surely there's not going to be another rebus in here. Food, oh, food dye, food dye. There we go. Sorry about that. Senior partners. Oh, prom dates. Okay. Prom in U.S. high schools is a dance for seniors, fourth year high school students. So there we go. Senior partners would be prom dates. Very clever. Very disguised, at least for me. You've made your point slangily say less, maybe? Is that something? I'm not familiar with that slang. Cousin of a weasel is from not so long ago, recent. Okay, well, that's much easier with that scent in there. Oh, a Martin, M-A-R-T-E-N. So Hebrew version of the English pronoun I, is it any? I don't, it is. Okay, done. There we go. Quite a long solve, as it turned out, so it goes on Sunday often. Um, but that was the Sunday puzzle, and a very interesting theme, a very, a, a quite varied theme. This seems like it would have only been possible in a Sunday puzzle, because there's so much going on all over the grid of all these different categories. So what it all needs to be sort of fit in. Um, I mean, even this one alone, this would be, this center shaded cell bit would have taken up, you know, significant width and height of a standard daily puzzle. Um, so let's go through our, our our little mechanics here. So economizing, as represented by the circle squares in this case, is cutting corners with our saw and our axe. And economizing, as represented twice in 12 down, is pinching pennies. Our bicentennial center, which I suppose is the former name of a Kansas arena, uh, has pinched two pennies, putting a cent, in other words, the value of a penny, um, in these pinched cells. What else do we have? We have stretching a buck, which economizes um, by stretching out this single. So actually, that's funny. We have a one cent bit here, and it's actually symmetrically disposed to a one dollar answer over here. So a single cent and a single dollar. Uh, represented in various ways. And then finally, I think the last one, making ends meet is a co is economizing as represented by making the rear ends, the can, butt, ass, and bum, all meet in the central cell of the crossword. And there we have it. That is the New York Times crossword for Sunday, February 12th, 2023. Hope you enjoyed it. That was a, that was a, a grand solve. <laughs> A big Sunday solve with lots of different mechanics in it. Almost sort of, you could imagine four, you can imagine each one of these ideas being explored, I suppose, with more examples in a kind of Thursday puzzle, maybe. Um, but here we have, we've taken a whistle stop tour through all four ideas in a single grid. Well done to Christina Iverson and Samuel A. Donaldson. And now I'm going to, because there, there were actually quite a few comments uh, regarding answers from yesterday's puzzle. So I'm going to go and I'm going to return to the classic practice of reading some, uh, discussing some clues from yesterday's puzzle. First off, we have Sam, aka Frisco17, who gives me a uh, much needed pronunciation 
check on the Spanish word for ocean. Sam says, Oceano is pronounced Oceano. So thank you so much for that correction, Sam, aka Frisco17. Alan Aton explains that the GI tract, the gastrointestinal tract, and we had, I think, lower GI in yesterday's puzzle, and it, it wasn't immediately obvious to me. And it's another name for the digestive tract, with which the colon, which was part of the clue, uh, is at the bottom of. So GI for gastrointestinal. Thank you for that. And Jim Tu says, this might be a stretch, but I, a few people wrote in with this, but uh, Jim Tu is the first one I saw. This might be a stretch, but I think that Pluto is famously a pet dog in contrast to Goofy, an anthropomorphic dog who is a friend of Mickey Mouse and not a pet. I think that is not a stretch. I think you are correct, Jim Tu. I think that is, I was wondering why Pluto was being clued famously as a pet dog rather than just a pet dog. And um, I think you're exactly right to distinguish him from other Disney cartoon dogs who are not pets, such as Goofy. And Stephen Giblin explains that a Mr. Goodbar, like Snickers, contains peanuts. So that explains why it would be an alternative to a Snickers bar. And finally, Kathleen Quinn has an obser- a nice little observation that the uh, most wanted clue was right above the top 10 hit list answer. So there we go. A nice little detail by the constructor. And thank you to everybody who left comments. Thank you to you for watching the video, making it to the end if, you've, if you're hearing this, I suppose. I'll be back tomorrow with the Monday crossword, a much quicker solve when we're back to we're kicking off the solving week with a nice gentle themed puzzle, presumably. So do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Mm-hmm.